2018 Honda Goldwing, the future of motorcycles. In the event that there is something more agreeable than a 2018 Honda Goldwing bike, it likely has the words Barca and Lounger on it someplace. Throughout the previous 43 years, the Goldwing has been a symbol of two-wheeled extravagance. A high-water characteristic of cadaver supporting solace. It's the Cadillac of bikes, and not the current, BMW pursuing Cadillac, despite the fact that it offers far more execution than you'd expect in a major, huge bicycle. I mean the old, extravagance Cadillac, with all the tail blades and going with highlights. What's more, it seats too. There's an all-around oiled after of Goldwing lovers who put out bulletins, sites, online journals and magazines, yet there are just such a large number of them and they're not getting any more youthful. So to achieve new purchasers, Honda knew it brought to the table a Goldwing that was smoother, smaller and sportier. The new bicycle is all that and that's only the tip of the iceberg. The primary energizing feature of the new model is the DCT or dual-clutch transmission. There have been DCTs on a couple of other Honda bikes, yet those were 5-speed boxes while this one is 7-speed. I'm shocked they aren't on more bicycles. They without a doubt will be as motorcycling develops and new purchasers enter the game. Honda couldn't simply swap in another DCT, it needed to hold up until the point when the new model turned out. To get the DCT to fit required a radical new edge and motor, however the motor remains a level 6 as previously. It was justified regardless of the pause. The DCT is smooth since it has dampers everywhere, including a fork move damper, ace arm damper and DCT grip focus damper. It's sufficiently smooth that Honda gladly says it'll dispense with head protector knock between riders, that awkward thumping where the traveler on the back thuds the rider and the front image shifts. You can set the DCT transmission so it'll move for you or, at the flip of a switch, you can move it yourself by means of two four stabs on the left handlebar. There's likewise a six-speed manual accessible. The two transmissions have a reinforcement outfit called a turnaround strolling component for moving in tight parking spaces. The DCT has both forward and turnaround strolling mode. Cool thing number two on the Goldwing is the two-fold wishbone front suspension. It is precisely as it sounds, a two-fold wishbone linkage connecting the front forks to the all-new mechanically welded twin fight aluminum outline. Amidst the connections is the spring and stun. Front wheel travel turns out to be almost vertical with the new setup, rather than arcing rearward as it did on the past wing. Honda had a show demonstrate with a foot lever to influence the front suspension to go all over. It looked powerful cool. The ProLink raised suspension is a solitary sided swing arm. Brakes are two-wheel ABS on all models, with expansive 320mm circles in front. Hardware are finding their path a little bit at a time, or is it bite by bite? From autos to cruisers, and the new wing gets its offer. Another throttle by wire framework permits a wide range of electronic controls. There are four riding modes, Visit, Dawn, Econ and Drain. Honda Selectable Torque, Hill Start Assist and Voyage Control are all there on account of the e-throttle. The bicycle even accompanies Apple CarPlay. There's likewise a sound framework and speakers accessible. Everything is controlled through a 7-inch screen in the inside support and an arrangement of catches and a semi-mouse-like handle over the gas tank. Indeed, this is a cruiser we are discussing. Will aerating and cooling be a long ways behind? The ride. The arrangement was to begin in Austin and ride these heavenly beast bikes over the Slope Nation of Texas. There is extraordinary Slope Nation there, on the off chance that you've never been. Issue was, a major rice storm named Inga covered the state with ice and snow and drove temps down into the 20s. Honda wisely kept all of us securely off the streets the primary day. I can't stay tight point the finger at them. Indeed, even in rain mode, ice could be an issue. On the second day, in scarcely above solidifying temps, we at long last got the opportunity to take a couple of truncated laps around the semi-rural flatlands southeast of Austin. No slope nation, however it was still great to get out. For one thing, I cherish the twofold wishbone front suspension. It gobbles up knocks that some other cruiser would move specifically into the edge and influence you to remain on the pegs to assimilate them. Controlling is out and out energetic for a gold wing, in spite of what you may believe was a heavier front end, it doesn't feel heavier. In fact, the separation offered by the twofold wishbones makes guiding the Iron Goliath less demanding. This is something else I can see working its way into different bicycles. 
consecutive rides between new 2018s with the wishbones and 2017s without settled on the decision clear, wishbone me, infant. The DCT transmission shifts with relatively subtle smoothness. Generally, you hear a yet don't feel it change gears. I began on a DCT bicycle in programmed mode. The main issue was that, in the same way as other automatics, it upshifts too early in 3 out of 4 modes, and in brandish, it downshifts too early. Since I was watchful for ice, I began in rain mode for some time, which appeared to make it upshift sooner. A change to visit mode found what appeared like a decent default mode to keep it in. Game was excessively excited for everything except for extremely forceful riding, which you could absolutely do on this. Furthermore, truly, I never attempted eco mode. In spite of a control weight of around 800 pounds, the 2018 is around 90 pounds lighter than the 2017 and feels it. One prepared gold wing veteran, with a rider on the rearward sitting arrangement, said after just a mile or two, I could drop this sucker into Don and be scraping pegs in a matter of moments. It was difficult to judge how that person's traveler felt about that since her face was taken cover behind a visor. Be that as it may, he was correct. This bicycle helps me a little to remember the Yamaha FJR 1300 game professional bicycle. It's sportier than a Harley Electra Glide. I attempted a 6-speed manual transmission and loved that, as well. It was nearly as easy, and moving herself has its own particular interest. However, in light of present circumstances, I picked the DCT. The fluid-cooled level 6 is 1 inch shorter front to back, 13.7 pounds lighter, has 4 valves for every barrel rather than 2 and is more fuel proficient than a year ago's level 6. It sits somewhat more distant forward on the 66.7 inch wheelbase for better adjust and sportier dealing with. I recommended to boss specialist Yutaka Nakanishi that he make a level 8. He just snickered, several times I could dispatch from a stop as fast as I could and observed increasing speed to be a little past lively. There's no 060 time recorded, yet the 1833cc6 completes a wonderful activity of moving those 800 pounds off the line. It's not completely in the game tour class, but rather it feels close. Like other Japanese bike makers, Honda doesn't list strength or torque, yet Web Theory says it's 125 horsepower and 125 pounds to foot of torque. Who knows? Honda gives the scope of control weights as 787 for the base gold wing with the 6 speed manual on up to 842 pounds for the gold wing tour airbag DCT. There are 5 models taking all things together. The three between the last two are, Gold Wing Tour with DCT, Gold Wing Tour with 6-speed manual and Gold Wing DCT. Costs run from $23,500 to $31,500. You could likewise take a gander at the BMW K1600 GTL exclusive, Indian Roadmaster, Kawasaki Vulcan 1700 Voyager ABS, Yamaha FJR 1300. Harley Davidson Electric Glide or any number of contenders. In any case, for an extravagance tour with some newly discovered liveliness, the Honda Goldwing could very well be the best of all.